Welcome to All Signs Tarot. This is a weekend love reading for the 1st to the 3rd of April 2022 for the sign of Taurus. Holy Spirit, show me the Taurians. Okay, there you go. You've got an Ace of Wands and an Ace of Pentacles here. So you're getting some kind of offer here. You've got a big offer coming in for you. Okay, Queen of Swords. Yes, it's true. Probably from an air sign or from an earth sign. Or this could be you. This could be you, Taurus. Knight of Pentacles. And this is the air sign you're dealing with. Could be a, a Libra, possibly. Or an Aquarius. An Aquarius is also a fixed sign like you. A Libra is also governed by Venus like you. So, let's see. Seven of Cups. And we've got the Six of Pentacles. This could be somebody you've been dreaming of. Right, This could be a wish come true for you here. Also, you could have a lot of options. You might be getting two uh, different... Um, you might be get, getting two different love offers, actually. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I think this is you having two people at your feet. There you go. And you've got one Ace, one ace of Pentacles and one Ace of Wands. So what you need to do is discern. Think about what you want. If you want commitment, you need to get the Ace of Pentacles. If you just want a one-night stand or you just want a sexual connection, then it's the Ace of Wands. And my nose is starting to itch. So you might be very um, confused as to who is the right person for you according to what you want. Because I think you want commitment here. You want commitment and um, you don't know who is the person who's going to give you the commitment and who just wants to have sex with you. So who just wants to have sex with you? Let's get that one out of the way. Who is the person who only wants to have sex with you? Holy Spirit, show me who is the person who only wants to have sex with Taurus. Could be an Aries or a Leo. Could be a fire sign. Yep. Aries, Pisces, Aries, Leo. This could also be Aries. So yeah, if you're dealing with an Aries man or a Leo man, even a Pisces, it could be a soulmate. It could be somebody who you deem to be your soulmate or your twin flame. So this could be the person who only wants to sleep with you. You think this person is your soulmate or your twin flame, but they are actually just a player who sleeps around with a lot of people, okay? So the fire sign here, you call them soulmate, twin flame, they're just a player, okay? You might have a traumatic bond with this person. This person might actually be a soulmate or a twin flame, but this person is not capable of giving you what you want. Okay, so this is the person who only wants to have sex. Who is the person who wants commitment? Holy Spirit, show me the person who really wants commitment with Taurus. Show me the person who wants commitment. Four of Pentacles. Could be another earth sign. So the it could be another Taurus, actually. That's interesting. Talk to me more about the person who wants commitment with Taurus. Talk to me more. Two of Wands. We've got Aries and Taurus. Maybe this person has both Aries and Taurus in their chart or they're on the cusp of Aries and Taurus. But this is interesting because you might have two Aries coming towards you actually to choose from. Or th this person could be on the cusp of Pisces and Aries, the person who only wants to sleep with you. And this person could be on the cusp of Aries and Taurus. Like I said, this person had Leo, Aries, Pisces, or Aries again. These could be their, their main signs, right? It might not be the sun. And this person could be a Taurus with Aries in their chart. Six of Wands. Oh, you know what I'm getting? These people are very similar. They could actually have uh, similar birth charts or their personalities could be very similar. So it's very confusing for you to tell who's the right one for you. Wow. Okay, so that's the thing here. That's why you're confused. That's why you're finding it hard to discern who it is. Okay, so let's do a verses here. Holy Spirit, show me um, the person who just wants to... Show me the person who just wants to sleep with Taurus. Show me the person who just wants to sleep with Taurus. The King of Wands came out again, yeah. It's very likely that this is a male fire sign. Leo or Aries specifically. Five of Swords. We also have Aquarius here. This person could be very popular. That's uh, the. This could be somebody who wants to win at all cost. Yeah, this is somebody who just wants to conquer people. It's like a conqueror kind of energy. 
they just want to have as many notches under their belt as possible. My whole face is itching now. Yeah, Leo Aquarius energy, but like I said, they, this person could actually be an Aries or they could have a lot of Aries in their chart. So fixed signs and cardinal signs. This person might have mainly fixed or cardinal signs. This person has is in some kind of position of leadership, whatever they do. This person is recognized for their work, free of cups. This is either an artist, it could be an artist, it could be a doctor, it could be a spiritualist. This could be somebody who is a highly revered spiritualist. This could be a priest too, or some kind of a preacher or pastor or something like that. Uh, this person is has some kind of public platform or they get a lot of public recognition either in their country or uh, all over the world. I'm not sure. So this person is very revered here. Yes. Okay. Ace of Wands again. Uh, super popular person here. Okay. And very respected also. The, this person's opinion is very respected by other people. Eight of Wands again. This could be an Aries. A, A for Aries. Okay, so I said Aries, Leo, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio also. I'm getting more signs now. Capricorn, Five of Pentacles. This person could be somebody who left you out in the cold in the past. They could have shunned you. If you are in, in this person's church or in this person's group of friends, they tried to shun you. They, this person kind of like turned against you. They led a group of other people against you and pushed you away. From whatever group this was. this I'm getting cult leader vibes. Even if it's not necessarily a cult leader uh, in the traditional sense. This person is a leader of a group. Okay? And this person has shunned you. Has literally turned against you and shunned you and pushed you out of this group. If you are a part of their group. And if not, then they didn't include you. Okay? So you know this person already. Who is the person that you who, who wants commitment with you? Who is the person who wants commitment? Let's see. We've got four of cups. The four come comes out again. The Again, uh, okay, so we've got uh, four of cups. We've got Aries energy, we've got Cancer energy, and we've got uh, Capricorn, all cardinal signs. So this person has a lot of cardinal signs. This is also a leader, okay? So we've got the leader versus the boss. Four of Cups. This could be somebody you actually rejected. I think this King of Wands is somebody who rejected you. And this person is somebody you may have rejected. Four of Cups. The Fool. The Seven of Pentacles. This person is very patient with you. I think, yeah, I think this person, you rejected them, but they're still kind of patiently waiting for you. Hmm. This person could deal with depression, though. This is somebody who is philosophical, somebody who sees things from different perspectives. The Fool and the King of Wands. Again, this these are very uh, the, very similar energies, so that's why you, you find it very hard to discern who is the right one for you. But like I said, this could be somebody who rejected you, and this is somebody you rejected. And maybe you rejected this person because they reminded you of this person who rejected you in the past, who caused you conflict. Who made you, who embarrassed you, possibly. This could have been like a bully kind of energy. Okay, how do you make the difference? Let's see. How does the viewer, how does Taurus make the difference between these two people? Okay, so we've got six of pentacles and six of swords. Again, the sixes are the same. <laughs> Seven of cups. There could be some kind of confusion here. It could be that somebody's playing mind games, is purposefully trying to confuse you here. This could also be witchcraft. I was getting that this person could be some kind of spiritual leader, somebody who is into spirituality. Maybe this person is trying to confuse you. Maybe you're, you're getting more options than you usually do and uh, you're overwhelmed by the options you're getting right now. You could be manifesting a lot and there's a lot of, there are a lot of options coming for you. Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords, yeah. It could be that, um, how do you make the difference? How do you make the difference? You might, two of pentacles. 
again back and forth two of pentacles you've got two major options you might have a lot of options but there are two main options that you find the most appealing and you find it very hard to choose which is which and we've got the six on this guy's side and the six on this guy's side so six of pentacles with the six of pentacles like i said this person could be some kind of spiritual leader this is somebody you looked up to this is somebody who wants to to feel superior who wants to feel like they're better than you and they made you feel as if you were a beggar. You could have begged it for this person's attention. And this person pushed you away. But the Six of Swords here. This is somebody um, who is calmer. This is somebody who doesn't care that much about um, the spotlight. This is somebody who doesn't um, need so much attention here. Also, uh, it could be that this person lives at a distance from you. <sighs> okay, so how can you tell? Okay, let's let's get some sun signs or something. What's the sun sign of this King of Wands? What's the sun sign of the King of Wands? Can we get a sun sign here? Let's see if we can get that specific. Holy Spirit, what's the sun sign for the King of Wands? Let's get let's get some sun signs or the sun sign for this King of Wands. Again, you see, we've got Pisces. I was talking about Pisces and Aries, right? I said that they might be on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. Pisces Aries okay or they have both Pisces and Aries in their chart yeah this is likely for somebody this could be a Pisces for other people could be an Aries okay and on the bottom of the deck two of wands is also Aries so we've got two Aries cards and a Pisces so these are the most likely um, the most likely signs Pisces or Aries for this person this guy on this side the, the bad guy okay 42 okay um i just got a flashback of a card which has number 42 from one particular deck i don't know what the name of the deck is but it says it's time to move on 42 number 42 it's time to move on so this is somebody from the past this is somebody who rejected you who made you feel unworthy who uh, could have embarrassed you publicly in front of other people who could have shunned you made you a pariah they could have spread a lot of gossip about you etc uh, etc et so it's time to move on from this person here this could be somebody that you are in a relationship with or yeah you are a part of the family you are close to this person at some point whether you are married to them or you lived close by to them or you were going to the same work place or place of worship or the same school etc this is somebody from the past who made you feel shunned by the society that you are living in there okay whatever past person let's see about this fool who's the fool can we get a sun sign for the fool here holy spirit can we get the sun sign again pisces pisces gemini capricorn so those could be the sun signs of this person. Uh, I've seen other air signs coming up as the Knight of Swords, so it could very well be Libra or Aquarius. It's not necessarily Gemini. So any air sign, any water sign, any earth sign, but specifically Pisces, Gemini, and Capricorn. Pisces and uh, Gemini, they're mutable signs, and uh, Capricorn is a cardinal sign. Two of Cups. So this person is indeed a soulmate of yours here. Oh my god, they have 42 too. That's crazy. I have 42 here and 42 here. You know what? It might be that you need to uh, move on from both of these people. You might want to choose one of them specifically. But maybe the choice is to let them both go. Maybe it's time to move on from both of these people. Holy Spirit, am I right? Should Taurus move on from both of these people? It's like, in my mind, it's like I'm seeing uh, two images overimposed. Like, uh, or two people, the image of two people coming on top of each other. Kind of like that. So they have very similar energy. And it could be that um, you have a type. You might have a specific type that you go for usually. And these people are both these this type. And you need to move on from this type altogether. 
let's just clarify because I've got the 42 twice and I just mentioned that 42 means uh, it's time to move on. Holy Spirit, should Taurus move on from both of these people? Show me the truth. Should Ta Taurus move on from both of these people? Queen of Pentacles on the side. Hmm. Two of Swords, it's your decision. So Queen of Pentacles, yeah, and it's on the side. It's undecided, <laughs> okay? Two of Swords. So it's your decision if you want to move on. That's, that's, oh my God, 42. 42 came out again. And yes, this is a yes. It's time to move on. Okay, I have to put the 42 here because it's clear. It's time to move on from both of these energies. Yes, you need to cut them out. So it's possible then that when you let go of both of these energies, you're going to get something better. Something that doesn't remind you of the past. Six is about the past. Four plus two makes six. Four plus two makes six. Four plus two makes six. So these people are all a part of your past and you should probably leave them in the past. So you can move forward and uh, find somebody that's better for you. And find freedom from these karmic people. Okay? Holy Spirit, if, um, if Taurus lets these people go, who are they going to manifest? Because this is kind of like, yeah... It's like you're going to get rewarded if you let these people go. That's what I'm getting. Am I right about this? Will Taurus get rewarded with a better relationship once they let these people go? <coughs> Show me the truth. Will Taurus get rewarded with a better relationship if they manage to let these people go? Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords. There's a lot of karma. So these people, you have heavy karma with these people. It could be past life karma. They need to drop, you need to drop these karmics. Okay, um, I strongly believe that um, it's up to us if we're going to get karma or not. So if we choose to keep uh, dealing with the same kinds of people over and over again, then we're going to accumulate more karma. Because we're going to cause more trauma to ourselves and to others by uh, dealing with these people over and over again. So once we decide that we want to drop the karmics, then the karma drops off by itself. So if you choose to stop dealing with these karmic people who um, are repeating the same lesson over and over again with you, then you're going to get rid of your karma. That's the easiest way to drop your karma is to just say no to the karmics, to the people who are coming to teach you the same lesson that you've learned over and over again. This guy has six, this guy has six. These are both past people. So I think these are two people from your past coming back towards you. They could be past life soulmates, they might be new in this life, but they could still be past life soulmates that you have a lot of karma with. Both of these people, I think they are karmic soulmates. This one, you might consider this one to be your twin flame. Uh, but consider this, uh, you have the most karma with your twin flame because uh, you've known them since the dawn of uh, time, right? So you had enough time to create a lot of karma. Either you or the other person could have caused uh, a lot of damage to this relationship. So this has become a karmic too. Whatever label you want to put on these people, they are both karmic soulmates at this time. They are acting as karmic soulmates. So if you want to get rid of the karma, you need to get rid of them. You need to drop them both. Holy Spirit, any other advice for Taurus, please? So you're like the wounded warrior. You've been dealing with these people for a long time and they cause a lot of trauma. Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups. So, um, once you drop, you cut the karmics out, you're getting a new love offer here, something fresh here. But again, you need to walk away from these people, from both of these people. Like I said, uh, you might be presented with a lot of options in love at around this time. And um, two of them stand out to you specifically. And it may be mainly because you find it very hard you might want both of them. So you might be attracted a lot to both of them. You might be equally attracted, almost. And um, they also might be very similar. So your advice is to cut them both out.
Five of Wands reverse. Stop fighting. These people are causing a lot of conflict. So you need to, to walk away from these people who are causing a drama to you. Ace of Cups. Yes, it's true. You need to walk away from both of them so you can get a new love. Something altogether brand new. Not these people from the past. Because whether you have dealt with them in this lifetime or not, these are past people. They're past life soulmates that you have a lot of karma with. So if you want to drop the karma, you need to drop the karmics, right? So there you go. Then you can have new love, a fresh new start, right? In love, a gift from the divine, Ace of Cups. Whew, and self-love, because Ace of Cups is also self-love. So there you go. I hope this helps. Take care.